hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be preparing some brown stew snapper so we're gonna be leaving the fish whole guys so no fillets around here just the whole fish um, you're gonna be dressing the fish accordingly so depending on what the, your guests want you can leave the fins and the tail or the head on or off So we're going to be rubbing in the seasoning so make sure you've washed your hands thoroughly or if you have some gloves that you want to wear you can always wear those too. Okay, so this is a little trick that I use to test if the oil is hot. I use either a toothpick or a skewer or chopsticks. I put it in the oil and if some bubbles form around it, that means the oil is hot and ready to go. When you're putting the fish in the oil, make sure you lay it away from you so that the oil doesn't um, burn you if it pops up. So you're going to be frying the fish on both sides. I do put garlic and scotch bonnet in the oil. It's just to add a little flavor. It's not really for spice. It's just for flavor. And we're going to take it out later on. Okay, so we're going to be sauteing these vegetables, the peppers, onions, and carrots. However, you're not going to cook them too long because they're going to be simmered in the gravy, so you don't want them to overcook.
depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I might add a little more soy sauce or more or less ketchup. So sometimes the gravy is like a, a darkish um, red color, sometimes it's like a brown color, but you can add the amount that you're okay with. Just remember that it's not supposed to be too dark because you're not doing like a, a, a brown stew chicken or a brown stew beef. Look at how amazing this looks. It is so delicious, guys, and really easy to make. Please let me know in the comment section how you like it once you try the recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.